and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of classifying 2D shapes. This is standard 5.5a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 24 of the 2022 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a graphic organizer, and it looks like we're just dealing with triangles here. And you notice that underneath triangles, we've got oh, three different types, but it really starts with two types, and then there's a third. So scalene triangles, which is what we need to define. Then we've got isosceles triangles, and then underneath is, under that is equilateral. So let's see if we can figure out what we're talking about. So when we're dealing with our triangles, right, so all triangles have three sides. That's the definition of a triangle. It's a polygon, which means it's closed, has no curves, all straight lines, and there's three sides, three angles, okay? So let's get into that differential here, and we'll start with what we know about what we're not going to choose. So we've got the isosceles triangle. And the isosceles triangle, that's kind of a strange name, but it's got two or more, which really would just mean two or three, uh, equal sides. So when we think of an isosceles triangle, typically this is what we're looking at. We're looking at something that kind of looks like this. It's like tall and skinny, right? We're going to use these little lines right here. Those two sides are equal. Uh, sometimes you could do an isosceles triangle that is kind of like a right isosceles triangle. You get a little right isosceles, and you get these little lines showing those two are the same length. So typically, uh, that's what we're looking at. Is isosceles triangle is a triangle with two or more, which really means two or three, equal sides, which means our equilateral has got to have all three. So an equilateral triangle is actually a type of isosceles triangle, which typically we don't view it that way. We kind of view it as its own separate. But it's got three equal sides. And those, uh, they all look the same except for their size. Because all three sides have to be the same, which means actually all three angles have to be the same. They're each 60 degree angles. So the only thing you can really do is make them really big or really tiny. But that's what an equilateral triangle looks like. So now we're stuck with what we are trying to find, which is our scalene triangle. All right, so our scalene triangle, well, let's take a look. We've got three equal sides, equilateral, two or more equal sides, isosceles, there's not really anything, you can't have just one equal side because it would have to be equal to something else. So rather than just following that pattern of three, two, one, it actually just goes to zero. Three for that's equilateral, two or more for isosceles, zero or no equal sides for scalene. That's what we're looking for. So for example, sometimes we might see a right scalene kind of like this. If we were to take that hypotenuse down right here, that's going to be a little bit different. So what we do is we just use these little hash marks. We use different amounts of hash marks to show that all three sides are different. Sometimes we'll get uh, an obtuse scalene, kind of like this. Kind of get that same thing here. Uh, either way, we can try to get like a, an acute uh, scalene. It looks more like a right scaling. They're kind of hard to draw sometimes. And so all that we're looking for are those three sets of hash marks. And so you see that this is an isosceles, because it's got these two sides the same. So is this, because that's got those two sides the same. This is an equilateral, because it's got all three sides the same right there. And so you're looking at H. You see the three separate hash marks, one, two, three. That's our scalene. 